Oh. Welcome to my gravity experiment. As far as I know, this is the first demonstration of man-made gravity. This experiment is described in detail in my new book titled The Fundamental Nature of the Universe. Actually, the title of this book is Corporate Messiah, The Fundamental Nature of the Universe. This book is a science fiction story, however, the science is real. The science fiction part is about a man who comes back from the future to save the world from self-destruction. The science, he reveals, is real, and we will demonstrate that uh, in, in uh, different ways right now. In our experiment, we've suspended two lead balls in a water medium, and we will turn on an uh, ultrasonic vibration, which will show uh, the first demonstration of man-made gravity. So this is off, and we go on. 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 So here again we're demonstrating that we can cause the balls to gravitate towards each other. In the book, this force is a net resultant force and it's actually not an attraction but a pushing. The two balls are pushed together by the shielding effect of the ultrasonic motion. Once again, gravity on. In this experiment, instead of using two lead balls suspended in water, we are using two small foam balls suspended in air. Gravity on. Gravity on. Gravity on. The force pushing the two foam balls together is due to the high frequency of motion of the air. Now it is interesting that the air can move in only one direction at a time. And this is the mechanism of gravity that results in a net resultant force pushing the two foam balls together. In my book, I describe a very precise motion of the universe called the spirographic grid that affects all matter in the universe. This biographic motion has a bias. It is a right-hand bias that is the cause of such directional phenomenon as magnetic induction uh, and other forces we see in nature. This new theory on the fundamental nature of the universe includes two types of motions. One is called dynamic motion. And this is a motion related to the proven fact that we are both translating and rotating through space at extremely high velocity and constantly changing directions. One example of the dynamic motion is our rotation around the center of the Earth and around the Sun and around our galaxy and our galaxy around another center point out there, and so on and so forth. So there's a constant uh, velocity and changing of directions that creates, uh, contributes to gravity and other forces. The other uh, type of motion is called corporal motion. Corporal motion is the motion of a mass relative to some medium, such as the water in our gravity experiment here. This theory obviously conjures up ideas of an ether, and rightfully so. The ethereal component of our universe must be returned to the mainstream science, 
and the historical significance of this issue is an important part of the theories and stories contained in this book. My new theory also describes three types of energies which are math mathematically defined in this new book. And those include kinetic uh, energy, which we know, potential energy, which we know, but also a new form of energy called transformic energy. A, uh, a new mathematical expression uh, for transformic energy is contained in this book, which uh, makes E equals mc squared obsolete. And this is a simple derivation that uh, average uh, high school kid could uh, follow. From these and other fundamental concepts described in this new book, all natural phenomenon can be explained, including the four known forces of nature. So I encourage you to get a copy or, uh, of this book or a e-book version of this through Amazon.com or the uh, website shown here. Thank you for watching our video.